हेलो माय सोल फैमिली हाउ आर यू ऑल एंड आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट वंडरफुल अमेजिंग सेफ वेयर एवर यू आर इन द वर्ल्ड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लाइकिंग शेयरिंग एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग टू द चैनल फॉर गिविंग मी लॉट्स ऑफ लव एंड आई एम वेरी ग्लैड दैट आई हेल्प यू आउट इन सम मैनर आई दर शेयरिंग सम स्परिचुअल इन्फॉर्मेशन और टेरो कार्ड रीडिंग मैसेजेस सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब येट टू द चैनल दैन प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेल मी एनी थिंग ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू डेज वीडियो एंड दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द लास्ट पार्ट ओके इन द सीरीज ऑफ कुंडलिनी एक्सपीरियंस एंड द ट्विन फ्लेम जर्नी विच आई हैव गॉन थ्रू एंड आई एम शेयरिंग ऑल दोज थिंग्स विच विद यू ऑल ओके विद द इंटेंशन दैट आफ्टर लिसनिंग दीज वीडियोज मे बी सम messages or some information will help you out in some manner in your own kundalini awakening or in your own twin flame journey in your own soul journey in your spiritual journey so if you have not watched those videos so please go and watch in those videos in series because this is the continuation so you are not going to understand what i'm talking about if you have missed out any part in between so let's start today's part okay so in uh, i told you i have gone through the kundalini awakening experience in 2020 in the year of 2020 by the soul shock which was given by my narcissist relationship okay and because of that soul shock i was awakened okay my kundalini uh, start getting awakened but that at that point of time i was totally unaware that my kundalini awakening was happening and there was lot of signs and synchronicities i can say there was lot of things which i was experiencing through that phase okay through that kundalini experience so i've already discussed that but more i'm going to discuss with you uh, in this frame so what was happened that i shifted my whole uh, you know home i can say i shifted from one state to another and in this uh, home i make the you know interior designing because i'm very much in interested in i can say i am very much uh, good at creativity okay so i just decorated this whole house okay in which currently i'm staying and what i have done that i have put the butterfly curtains okay then the wallpapers i put in this home was the peacock uh, peacock wallpapers or the divine feminine uh, i can say divine feminine wallpaper okay in the house but later on when i was awakened completely then i understood that why i did that okay then there were lot of snakes which was coming in my society so i was experiences lot of snake okay i was watching lot of snake images daily at that point of time and there was lot of butterflies around uh, around myself there was majorly black butterfly then there was a um, yellow small bird in couple okay so these were the signs and synchronicities and synchronicities have been started like i start having the angel numbers like 11 22 11 33 then 11 55 11 11 11 44 okay so i was totally confused and lost at that point of time that uh, why these things are happening with me or these are the illusions okay so or the real truth or the real things which i am experiences because according to the psychiatrist okay and i was uh, been diagnosed with bipolar disorder so the, there was a question in my mind this was the second question which come in my mind during the kundalini awakening process that whether i am going through with some kind of real experiences which i am hearing which i am sensing which i am listening or these all are just the illusion stories which is being made up in my mind so i just started again a uh, watching the videos on the youtube that what is happening with me and one by one the divine was you know giving me the guidance okay and i was just following my inner intuition the inner wisdom the inner guidance and soul calling and then i started again my kundalini awakening process and after 2 3 months i just uh, you know completed my dark night of a soul then the next phase started where there was the soul purging of a soul purging started so this is the third level this is the third step of kundalini awakening process okay so there what happened is that i was crying a lot because soul purging is what this is the uh, this is the stage where the purging of your soul will happen okay so wherever your healing has not 
uh, you know done yet there the healing will take place so at that point of time i was lost and confused at that point of time and i was lost in thoughts okay i was blank completely and i was crying a lot during that soul purging time frame whether i'm taking a bath whether i'm having my food whether i am just not doing anything but i was crying continuously okay i can say that and even i was unaware that why i'm crying so much so that was the soul purging time frame and then uh, my twin flame entered in my life again in october okay in october 2020 and i talked to him i just called him because i get to know that i am in a twin flame journey and uh, i am going through a process of kundalini awakening process now i get to know this but where is my twin flame i was searching for that so i when i contact and my soul was you know uh, pushing uh, pulling uh, towards my twin flame again and my soul was uh, you know asking me to call my twin flame and talk to him so i called him even after 4 5 days of thinking that whether i should call him or not but then i i could not stop myself and then i called him and i was i told whole those things in between september my uh, my mother got expired suddenly uh, okay so i could not ex- understand that what was happening with me and then suddenly i realized that these things are happening with me so i just discuss all those things with my twin flame and at that point of time also i was still unaware that i am talking to my own twin flame okay so i was talking to him and i told every single thing to him that the, these are the things which is happening with me and i was too weak at that point of time because my weight was reduced from 48 kg to 39 kg i was feeling sensations on my crown chakra on my third eye on my heart chakra on the solar plexus on my whole body okay there were lot of uh, i can say goosebumps which come again and again uh, during that phase and then um, there was a change in the body temperature okay sometimes i feel lot of cold and sometimes i feel lot of heat then uh, uh, i was vibrating i can say my whole body was vibrating a lot especially my hands was vibrating a lot okay then there was too much heavy uh, heaviness which i felt on my heart chakra on the center of my chest and there was the feeling at that point of time that there is something wrong with my heart and i was having a fear that maybe i am i am going to have an heart attack okay because there was lot of pain and lot of heaviness which i felt during the soul purging phase okay uh, and it uh, it was ended approximate Three or four months later, when my soul purging was done completely, when my healing was done completely, and at that point of time in my twin flame life, uh, so his, you know, parents were looking out for the girl for the marriage. So then he decided, and he asked me one day that, "Are you going to get married with me and not?" So he asked me, "Come." you know straight away at that phase and in october november he asked me that and i was like no i cannot get married with you because i am having two kids and i have responsibilities again i was choosing and pushing my you know i was choosing the fear and i was pushing my twin flame you know from my and i was starting running again from him so but this time the things did not work out like it was always working out in the past okay because divine timing was come at that phase then when we both have to reunited at that phase so he was very calm and he was like ki okay fine take your time and i do not have any problem with two kids and these are my kids only and i am not having any issue with that okay because you are the only one with whom i want to spend my whole life you are the soul where i belong to and all those things and then he was also able to get to know that we are in a twin flame journey and this is the twin flame journey and whatever he has experienced in 2009 to 2014 or 15 he has gone through the kundalini awakening experiences okay so he tried to explain me all those things in uh, february by showing some old paintings or drawing or images visions which he draw from very early age like around 9th or 10th but i was like no uh, i cannot be with you because your family is not going to accept me with two kids and all then he was like i accept you and uh, you know i am going to make my family understand and they are going to understand you also because you are a pure soul and and my family 
deserves this pure love okay so he talked to at uh, you know at his home and uh, talk to his whole family and told everything at home but the family was not ready to accept okay and the family stood against me i can say that because they were like you know um, what will society say that you are going to get married with two kids married to a girl who is having two kids okay even she is not married yet and before marriage she is having two kids so no she is not good in character and she is working in tv serials so she must be having some bad characters she must be doing something bad okay wrong thing in life to reach where she is today so that was the belief system which his family was having and again the second taboo uh, which my twin flame family was having about the love marriage so love marriage is a uh, you know sin in the in his family so this was the time where he has to change the belief systems you know society condition and those taboos which has been put on him by his family so he firmly you know stand on his decision that no i'm not going to you know uh, do marriage marriage with any anyone else okay if i'm going to get married then i'm going to get married with this girl only so the family member took their real faces and they beat they beat continuously to you know to my twin flame he they bet beat basically my twin flame a lot during that time and they pressure my twin flame to leave me and not getting married and also but he did not quit up and he was like no i'm not going to do that because he know the real meaning of twin flame and the journey of twin flame because he know one thing very clearly better than me i can say that if he is going to choose and if he if he is going to choose anyone else then he is you know manifesting and and, and attracting the misfortune the you know the karmic relationship only and at the end at the last he has to come with me only okay so why to create more karmas and why to create those situation and those here i was working on myself and i was doing my inner work i was researching and studying on kundalini awakening and twin flame experiences and then i saw lot of videos i can say lot of information which was available on social media platforms uh, related to kundalini awakening process and uh, related to twin flame journey experiences and there was tarot card reading and messages and there is energy check and i got again trapped in the loophole and the confusion state between two person that who as my twin flame and who is not because between these two person there is one who is my twin flame and other is not so i was still having the confusion but during that phase i was continuously studying okay i was continuously working on my on myself okay then one by one uh, time has come in uh, you know i can say in may june july symptoms were changing the angel numbers were increasing okay were adding in my uh, daily life i can say and i was getting the guidance from the divine on my each kundalini you know ascension journey or process so i get to know many things and then i was uh, studying also then i was uh, you know um, getting the activation of lot of chakras and lot of things inside of me and because of those activations i was able to see my past lives also or during my dreams okay so i get to see uh, my past life dreams in which um i saw two three past lives in my dreams and i get to know that um, yes i am having someone who is coming from my past life and who is my twin flame then in from may june july i can say in 2021 he finally saw my saw his final uh, you know paintings or drawings or image or visions which he draw in back in 2014 or 15 because what has happened in um, may or june that i just you know uh, rejected again my twin flame and said to him that i'm not going to get married with you because your family is not going to you know accept me with my kids and i do not want to give you the sadness and the separation from your family and i just want because all the happiness for you and you deserve the happiness and i was also having this conclusion that you are not my twin flame and the narcissist person is my twin flame because of the misinformation okay which incorrect information which is available on social media platform uh, that the narcissist and empath uh, 
are the twin flames so because of this misinformation because of this illusion i was againing trap you know again going in a loop holes again going you know in a trap so he just saw those he just come to me and he was like okay fine if you do not want to get married then that's fine it's okay for me but just um, you know you see this paintings you just see these visions and see these drawings because this is very much important for you to see these drawings before making any decision in your life but i'm not going to stop you okay uh, if you want to continue with your own life you can okay so i was like fine okay i am going to see that pictures and finally i saw those pictures and when i saw those pictures it was like boom okay so whatever confusion or whatever loopholes i was revolving around uh, that all confusion got clear out and i get to know that who is my real twin flame that that person okay is my real twin flame and the other one is the narcissist relationship because one thing i want to tell you that you and your twin flame is the exact mirror is the exact same one soul only okay just uh, you know divided into two bodies i can say into two parts and you both are having different bodies but you both are having the one single soul okay you are sharing one single soul so whenever he just come in front of me every time my heart beat get faster again okay and there was lot of synchronicities and when i saw those paintings there was no confusion left between us so in my next part i'm going to share those drawings with you also which make me understand that yes he is my twin flame and uh, one more thing i'm going to share with you that whatever psychic powers whatever knowledge whatever things you are having inside your soul your twin flame is going to have those things inside of them also okay so exact that thing so whatever knowledge i was having like uh, i was uh, you know being attracted and being drawn to infinite symbol okay and i have made one infinite uh, symbol ring for the narcissist okay and i have gifted him that infinite symbol uh, ring and now i understood that why i was so much you know inclined towards the infinite symbol then yin yang symbol then and the shivling or the shivji parvati ji okay and then the radha krishna and these are the god and goddess uh, in hindu mythology okay so you can study about them in on the youtube on the google so they are the twin flames of each other and same in my twin flame uh, journey he was very much you know having the knowledge about the dragons the endless dragons the yin yang symbol and many more infinite symbol than angels and those ancient knowledges which he was having inside of you because i am a palladian star seed and he is an sirian star seed okay so being a palladian star seed uh, we are having an heart you know heart chakra activation and we are here to teach you all an unconditional love because we are having unconditional love for everyone each soul who is present on the mother earth and being an sirian star seed he is you know having deep deep knowledge about all those things and his crown chakra and the third eye chakra is activated more so this is the balance of yin and yang energy one is very much strong in you know in mental uh, challenges and one is very much strong in communication challenges so one weakness is the other uh, Uh, if i am weak in any section then in that section my twin flame is very much strong and if my twin flame is uh, having some kind of weakness and then in that area i am having that strong uh, you know um, strong energy present inside of me so this is how we balance each other okay so this is what i want to tell you here and this is how i am here again in front of you all uh, sharing my spiritual information sharing the messages which i am receiving okay uh, through the tarot card reading and then i started my kundalini awakening process and i get to know that yes this is the twin flame journey and twin flames are on this planet earth not to play and not to on uh, you know not to get married only okay their soul mission is very much important. 
important and their mission is to help the consciousness to raise the consciousness okay of each soul who is present on the mother earth okay they are here to bring the higher vibration frequencies to the mother earth as we all know that mother earth is ascending right now and we are changing the dimensions from third dimension to the fifth dimension so twin flames have sent purposely and they are the chosen ones to help in the process of gaia ascension process okay so if you are in a uh, twin flame journey if you are a star seed if you are light worker then you have to know one thing that you have a soul purpose on the planet earth okay uh, to raise the frequency and vibration of mother earth by raising your own frequency by coming union with your own frequency um, and one more thing i want to add in this video is that um, losing the twin flame union okay is the loss of whole universe it is not only the loss of you both it is the loss of whole universe if one twin flame reunion is happening then it is the profit it is the you know vibration increase in the whole multi dimension in the whole universe so twin flame is not only a this universe relationship twin flame is a multi dimensional relationship so uh divine the divine i can say archangels angels the light beings okay everyone wants uh, you to be with your twin flame with your soulmate okay with your divine counterpart because this is the best for each of us okay if two twin flames are uh, you know reunited then uh, they are going to raise the frequency of the mother earth so i'm going to stop here and uh, this video and i'm in the next part i'm going to share you all the images the visions the drawings which my twin flame show me and i get to know that yes he is my twin flame because these are very beautiful pictures and they will also help you out in some manner in your kundalini awakening process so sending you lots of love and healing and happy energies to all my soul family sending you lots of love and take care of yourself my soul family and see you soon